So a little while ago, I created an image, much kind of like this one here, uh, basically using a tool called JSplacement. Placement. And that tool, what I was using it for, is to create these kind of square patterns. And then there's also these dot matrix kind of style patterns as well. And I was using those basically together to create these kind of fake UI looking shots, basically. And you could probably use similar techniques if you had, uh, let's say, like some screens in the background of a shot or something that you wanted to add UI onto. It's, it's quite like a legit way, I think, to kind of very quickly fill those screens with just stuff that looks a bit sci-fi, right? And around three or four years ago, I actually created a, a course, a live course that I did on YouTube at the time and people could follow along and this kind of thing, which you can find on my website, compostingpro.com. Um, and in that, you kind of get a glimpses of this tool, this JS placement tool. And I say glimpses because you actually can't download the tool anymore. It's not online for some reason. Um, and to most of you, regardless of that, since that I, I actually kind of like did this this live course, I always wanted to make something like this tool. I mean, ideally it would be exactly this tool, just I haven't got the, the, t the technical side down yet, but ideally I would love to have made this tool actually in Nuke. And I always wanted to kind of learn enough so that I could actually kind of start doing that. Um, and you can see the tool consists of kind of creating these squares with lots of different kind of things that you could set with your patterns. And again, you could create these dot matrix style um, techniques as well, which, which kind of look quite cool, as you can see. So I've actually managed to do it using a fair bit of AI help, to be honest with you. Um, I've actually managed to get something that kind of works in roughly the same way. So let's, uh, let me show it to you now. So I've got this example script here, and this is going to be available on my website along with the tool. Um, so we're going to go up here to the pattern maker, and we've got our first panel here of the tool. And if we just go straight to generate, you can see this is that kind of square uh, pattern bit that the JS placement was doing, as you can see. And you can do all sorts of things here. You can set your image size to whatever you might, it to, might want it to be. And you can set the number of squares. So if we want to increase the number, you can do that. If you want barely any squares, you can do that as well. You can set the maximum and minimum size of the squares. So if you want it to kind of them to be quite small, as you can see, you can, you can adjust accordingly. But the other bit as well is you've got this color palette. So I've added some kind of uh, different color palettes that you can do. But also if you go to custom, which to be is the one that I've been using a lot, and just hit generate, you can see it generates a the square pattern with these colors and you can actually click these and then we can kind of set them as in let's so we all want different kind of shades of orangey red and yellows. We'll go for that and hit generate. You can see now we now have that pattern again with those and we can up the number of squares and do whatever we want as you can see, which is super cool. And then next up, obviously you're gonna to want to save this image. So if we hit save image, at the moment it's just JPEG. To honestly, I could probably do XR, I just haven't had the time to uh, get around to it yet. And then I've just saved that image out and then you can see the minute I save it, it actually brings it into Nuke, as you can see. So that's the first panel. And again, there's still some things I want to improve on it. To honestly, the reason I'm releasing it now is because work's getting pretty busy. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have as much time as I wanted to kind of work on this. So I thought I'd just kick it out there for you guys to start playing around with it. And then, um, and yeah, again, if you guys got any suggestions or anything you think I should do with this, let me know and I can start adding it. So that's that one in its current state. And again, you can set the image size here. Um, so the next panel is the dot pattern. And that was that other part of J placement. So if I hit generate pattern, you can see it just generates these random random dots. And we can up the pattern intensity if we'd like, as you can see, we can lower it. We can set the size here as well. So if I'm going to be bigger and all sorts of stuff. And just like before, <clears throat> we can hit save image. And again, that's going to bring that in. And then from then, it's basically what I was doing in that live course I did on YouTube. So what I was doing is grab just any one of these colored channels into the alpha, like this. And then all I was doing is cutting out our square pattern with that alpha, as you can see. Um, so you get stuff like this, again, very, very quickly. And you can layer these up, which is again what I was doing in that course. I was layering these up, so I've got this pattern here and I've whacked that on a card. Then I've got this pattern here, whacked that on a card and stacked it on top as you can see. And I've got this pattern here, whacked on a card, you get the idea. I mean, you could put these on spheres or whatever it is you wanna do, right? And again, you could then catch these with a match move camera if you wanted them to stick on your screens or whatever it might be. But we basically get something like this. 
Um, and the advantage of this, obviously, I've got depth passes and all sorts of stuff I can play around with. So that's basically what the tool does. And again, it's kind of a very rudimentary version of that J placement, <clears throat> but it, it kind of does most of the heavy lifting. And this is probably 80% of what I was using it for anyway. So then again, I've got just kind of post treating here, putting a ton of glow on and grain and all that fun stuff. Um, so there you go. So that's basically the tool in a nutshell. So again, it's fairly simple. Um, but I thought, again, I would just get it out there so you guys can start playing around with it and let me know uh, what maybe you want and um, what you think I should improve, etc. Because the first time I've kind of created a tool like this. So it would be great to get your feedback and all that fun stuff. So if you're looking for the tool, um, and also to want to see this example, Nuke Script, you can find it on my website, compositingpro.com, and then it's going to be a Nuke-Pattern Maker tool. You'll see it on the front page as well. But there you will have a download link to the button, this video as well underneath. And then, yeah, you can download the, the tool and the example script and start playing with it. So again, it's the first time I've done anything like this. So let me know if there's anything that you want me to add and take away, etc. Because um, again, it's just a good excuse for me to learn. I'm going to be way more incentivized to learn this stuff if I've got people bothering me online about it. So have a play around and hopefully it's useful.